Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you a great new feature in Excel, which is a dynamic auto-filling searchable drop-down list. And as you can see here under my heading of state in H2, when I select it, a little drop-down arrow appears and it lists all the states that are available in my table on the left-hand side. I can simply select a state or I can type back into that cell H2 and start typing away, say the letter C, and it condenses the state list to anything with C in the name, whether that's at the beginning, middle, or end. I can continue to type and it will further condense that list. Let's select North Carolina. And all this formula on the right hand side is doing is counting the number of times North Carolina is in column E. I'll select that. It's a simple count if formula. I'll leave it up on the screen if you want to take a look. I'll also put down in the link a link to the count if formula if you want to learn how that is done. So this is just a table of members who've joined a membership and the state they're from. So let's go to sheet two and show you how this is done. And just to let you know, this feature is available in Microsoft Excel 365 from August 2023 onwards. So if you don't have a version that's up to date or, or beyond August 23, you might need to upgrade to get this feature. So let's go into cell H2 and you simply go up into the ribbon, go over to the data tab and on the right hand side, there's a little icon with a green tick. You select the down arrow there and there's a data validation option. Under settings and allow, we're going to allow from a list. So select list and the source of this list is gonna be this original table. So I'm gonna click the arrow and select the list or the data that this list is gonna come from. E2 to E271 doesn't matter if the name appears more than once, it will condense it to unique values only. Click this down arrow and press OK. And now your validation list is there already. It's working, it's available now, you can use it. But the only thing that's a little bit different from the one I showed you before is it's not in alphabetical order. It doesn't matter, it still works as it is, but I will show you a little trick to get it in alphabetical order if you wanna learn that as well. So. Just over in K2, I'll create a formula which is called equals unique, open brackets. I'm gonna select this list of names again, list of states, E2 to E271, and close the brackets. Now this is what's called a spill formula. You can see there's a little blue box that goes around it. And that's just giving me a list of all those states that appear, that appear in my list. But it's just given to me the one time, the unique time but it's still not in alphabetical order. So I'm simply gonna go back into that formula and nest that unique function within a sort function. Equals sort, open brackets, go to the end of that formula and close the brackets. And now it's just given me the unique values in this table sorted in alphabetical order. So it's as simple as going back into H2 now and redirecting this validation list. So I've selected H2 Go back up into that data validation option. Instead of source being E2 to E271, I'm going to reference that top formula, because it is a spill formula, K2. But there's one little last trick. If you want it to get the whole spill formula and not just the name that's in K2, you have to put a hash after the end and press the down arrow and press OK. And now this list is in alphabetical order, just like the one I showed you before. Hopefully that was really handy for you. I love this feature and I can't stop using it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.